There's a fish. That was a good one. That's a good one. On the jig. Easy now. Easy now. You got you on the short line. Yeah, it's a big one. Oh my goodness. That's a good one. That's a good one for sure. Easy now. Easy. Oh, that's an, oh my god. Oh, let's go! Holy moly, how big do you think that is? Goodness, Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. Whew. Thank you, sir. I'll be honest, do you think this is over six? Definitely a five. Definitely a five? Yes, Scales. Scales is five pounds on the dot. Good call. Five pounding. Good way to start. Okay. Uh, with the right drag on this, you can get this boat to be 70. Wow, 70? Wow. Whew. There's another one. Oh, it's a catfish. <laughs> that's right. No, I don't. That's a big catfish, though. This is my biggest catfish for the year. He ate a jig. Yeah, he ate the jig. Okay, now when we do catfish. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm a king. What, what should I do? Should I use the net or no? Just skip the net. Well, Typically what I do is yeah. I'll put them in the net and they'll calm them down. Okay. Okay. Yep. And then hold them right here on the side of the boat. Oh, hold them. Okay. Oh, flip it over. All right, just let them go. There we go. All right, that was easy. Wow. Oh, get the net. Nice. Oh, wow. That's a nice one. Nice. Good one. Yeah. Sweet. There we go. Sweet. <laughs> Pound it. Whew, that's our second fish. It's been we've been fishless for how long? <laughs> Quite a while. Man, get some quality fish out of these uh docks, that's for sure. Nice one. The shaky had a beautiful fish. Whew. There's one! Net! I'm, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Oh, you're good. Yeah, I got him. He's not going anywhere. Uh, actually, see, I can pull it in. Oh, you go. Oh, my bad. That's a keeper. Better than mine. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I'll let you know. Number two for today. Oh, yeah, these guys are. Ah, you got the feet on the bottom, they all bumps on their lips. There's a good one! That's a good one. Get him away. Actually, solid. I, actually, let's see. Let's keep her size. I think he'll, yeah, hopefully he'll keep it. Thank you. Yeah, I got it. it. Came off of that uh, boat ladder, didn't it? Yeah, somewhere around there. Let's, oh yeah, he might not. We'll see. A lot of blood on the tail. Oh, be close. Yeah, I'll be close. The barb got him good. All right, we got it. We're good. All right, let's see. Let's see how many inches we got. Oh, he's 16 and a half. We're good. Uh. There's one. Ah, oh, little one. I don't think it's going to keep. No, 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 they might keep. It'll, it'll be close. Nope. 13 and a half. Not going to cut it. We got about an hour left or so. Right in got him. <laughs> right where you said he was. Yep. Yeah, it's a good one. Solid fish. Oh yes, nice one. Yeah, we got him. 
he's, he's stuck with that jig. He's not going anywhere. Well, that's another four or five pounder right here. I think I stole your uh, fifth fish. Uh, that's fifth all right. fish. That's all right. Oh goodness. Oh, the catfish. What? What? It turned into a catfish. Is that blue? Yeah, it's a blue. That's my first blue ever. I'll take it. You want, you want me to grab it? First blue catfish. Nice, pretty one. Let me try to get. I got him. Got him? Ah, he bit my finger. <laughs> I got him. Where you rocking today? I mean, that's a three-pound cat. Yeah, they fight hard too. There he goes. Oh. All right. How many do you have? Three. I have to measure this one separate. Look at that. Look at that monster. That's awesome. <laughs> the answer to that would be no. Looking at that fish. Five. Five oh. Five oh. Same as my scale. Dress in the bag. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. Ten nineteen. Girls go. Thank you. Yep. Probably got the big one. Santos, six two nine. Nine, Shane, six five four. Eight, Joe Phillips, six six nine. Rich Percival, six eight one and seven. Michael Say was. Six, ten, nineteen. A big fish of five, five, zero, oh, and eighty-five hours. Oh, thank you. Thank you, for Jay. Thank you. Fifth was Blake. Ten, seventy-one. Yes. Fourth, Bill Comfortably, sixteen, eight, zero. Oh. Third, me, seventeen, ten, and seventy-six dollars. Ryan with $18.74, $253. And first place with Mike with five for $29.463. Hey guys, I'm finishing up my day at the uh, Northeast River ABA Bass Tournament. Heading back now. And man, uh, it was a uh, great tournament for me, but uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm exhausted. I have no idea how those uh, bass pros can do this uh, three or four days in a row on those long tournaments. Anyways, uh, I'll go over my results, then I'll go over what I did for the day. Um, there are uh, 17 entrants overall, 12 anglers, 5 co-anglers. Um, in this ABA, in ABA tournaments, um, co-anglers have to, have to battle it out against anglers and co-anglers. So overall, out of 17 people, I finished in 6th place. Uh, I finished first among the co-anglers, and um, it was uh, really awesome. I won the uh, biggest bass. Let me go over my day. Um, we started off, we made a long run because there's another uh, big bass tournament going on. So even though we only had 17 boats, there was another tournament that probably had over 6 dogs. And it was a good, it was two and a half hours into our start time at about 8.30. We started fishing at about, look at this guy going through my lane. Anyways, we started fishing at about uh, 6 o'clock. Uh, I caught the first fish at 8.30 I, I, and it ended up being the uh, big fish of the tournament. Five pound, five pound. Oh, actually, fish, I caught um, that fish. He decided to stick with docks the rest of the day and boy, we grinded it out. It was tough. It was, um, we just fished. It just felt like I made a bazillion freaking pitches. That's probably what I did. Anyways, it was real tough to uh, fish as a co-angler behind a boater when fishing docks because he would hit all the prime targets first. And uh, so here's a couple keys as a co-angler when uh, your boater might be doing something like hitting uh, targets like that, he gets the priority over all the primary ones. The first uh, thing you want to do is do not throw the exact same bait as him. I don't care if he's catching a ton of fish, don't throw the same bait as him. Throw something similar so that you can fish the same speed, but a, bait, a different profile so you can maybe pick up some fish that uh, ignored his bait. So he is throwing a shaky head, a uh, chartreuse seven inch trick worm on a uh, quarter ounce jig head. So what I like to do is I was throwing a uh, 
3 8 ounce and half ounce black and blue jig with a big black and blue chunk trailer. So it's a very different bait, but fish in, a, in, a same, in the same manner. So I was able to fish at the same speed he was going at. And uh, another key for me was that he was hitting all the spots, but he was actually, he's a smallmouth fisherman. So he was actually uh, pitching with spinning gear and his pitches were accurate, but I was able to make more accurate pitches and um, hit different spots that he wasn't able to hit. So I actually ended up catching more fish total, even though two of them were catfish over the day over uh, my boater. Um, one of the key things I learned is I did a lot of skipping under docks and I did a lot of pitching, but this is something I learned today was how to pitch and skip at the same time. So I guess it's called a pitch skip, where you pitch the bait and you can get the bait to skip a couple times. So that's cool, I was able to pick that up and add that to my arsenal of techniques. Um, anyways, uh, that's about it for today. I had a ton of fun, I'm about to go home and pass out, go 